Anyway, let's just go on from, from the, uh, the cadence. From the one. Yeah, five, great, two fingers. And, and just vibrate one. I couldn't do that. Actually, better yet, don't think of vibrating one or two fingers. Think of vibrating the hand and soften your thumb. Your hand is not balanced. Have your hand balanced. Put the fourth finger down. And, and don't play these guys. Pretend you only have to play your fourth finger. Now your hand will, you're not playing anything but the fourth finger. Your hand's gonna be higher up, so that this is balanced for the fourth mm. finger. Then go back for the other one. Because your hand is balanced with your strong finger, and then this is flat and straight. So take your hand, okay? Now, just put your fourth finger down where it's supposed to go only. Why are you doing that? I don't know. You're not doing a split. Just have your hand on that finger only. Okay, make sure it's the right note. Good. And then, and then F sharp. Now, soften your thumb. Okay, that's more in tune, and your hand actually looks a little less stressed because now your hand's balanced more towards that. Yes. Okay? And so. I have to do a straight crossing. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Let's, let's try that. So go to the four and go back. But that, those two notes are like the end of a phrase. You could literally take a loop pause and then go on. So if you want to start with the B, that's fine too. see the vista a little bit longer. It's like taking five hours to get there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's get back to town. My son's like, what? <laughs> right? No, 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 no. Let's like take a picture or something. <laughs> then he has a, a rich heart. Oh, I'm doing that. Okay. okay. Go to the frog. And make it long. 
That's good, but now then, then a slow bow. They're like leaps. Yeah. Sometimes it changes strings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not That's the finger you're going to use. So you want it's fat. <laughs> Do that from both staccato again. And when you're doing it, I want you to feel like your middle fingers are pinching against your thumb. So you're not pressing with one. You're, all four fingers are on the bow, but you're going to go like that. Okay. And make sure you're out more. Don't, you stay where you are. But make sure that your arm is soft and open and then you can get farther out. <laughs> okay. Open up your chest. There you go. Good. Now bring, bring it in. Okay. Be soft. Drop your shoulder. There you go. Not your, not your it wants to go with it. No, it's the di different. Your shoulder is part of here. Your arm is here. This is your arm. That's not your arm. That's the socket that the arm goes in. If you raise that, you're screwing up your whole chances of playing without tension, okay? Now, now just go. It's all, it's all the way to the top. If you want to 
is more bow, so. <laughs> bottom two notes and then the dust that comes out is the octave and you just focus on your your one wow mind blown not really it's not that but you're you're I'm you're, you're, down you're doing what go. most people do which is hail mary with the guy from my body and they go they go like Ugh. okay i think i got it now and it's like yeah. thank you next instead It's a warm, rich sound, not a death grip sound. See, now your hand looks great because it's not in, it's not being like freaked out. And you play these, not just, actually don't even play the top, you just play a three note chord, two and one, two and then one. That was better. The other was, and, and when you cross over, when you cross over, keep your arm on the G string, flat air. Now, now, just add the fourth finger after you played one. That was in tune, it just was tight. More on the quote, open to open C and G. And then, so wait, you're always too soon. When you play that passage, remember, it's still a melody, right? So you're doing... 